Okay, this is part two of the wrench rack build. We're going to get it finished up. Here you can see some quarter inch bar stock. One of them I've made all my holes where I want them. And then in the mounting holes I put quarter inch pins. That will align with all the finished pieces. So now I can just buzz down along here and mark the holes using my template. Which beats the heck out of doing a layout and center punching and all that. So once I get that completed, I'll just pop it apart with a screwdriver and I'll finish drilling the holes. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but that's rather black colored. That's the mill scale. Um, what I did was I soaked it in vinegar and salt. There's a lot of YouTube videos about doing that. It removes not only mill scale, but uh, rust. Um, I'll leave a link uh, with uh, one of the people that has a video out there and you can follow along with that to take care of that. Just buzz along, throw some oil in there, here and there, and uh, that makes your bit last longer and keeps it from grabbing. Now if you'd feel more comfortable you can use drill press vise for that. I'm just chopping up two by four, a little over the length of um, the base of the rack. I'm going to zip screw it down into there. And this is going to be the alignment jig for the pins. The depth doesn't really matter as long as it's at least the length of the tip. And once again, it's mostly all quarter inch holes except for the three, three sixteenths on the one end. Now I'll take this over to my weld bench. I'll clamp it down and uh, I'll start putting the pins in, which I made in the previous video along with a jig showing you how to do it. But having them all bent in a jig makes the alignment so much easier and the finished product so much better. All the pins were also beveled at the previous video. I'm cleaning it with some acetone so that the weld isn't contaminated. Here I'm just putting some plug welds in on the back. I put a couple tacks and then I bounce around um, so that I don't overly heat the plate in one area and causing it to bow a whole bunch. I got about an eighth of an inch of bow which is plenty fine on something that's just holding some wrenches to the wall. Here you'll see me sliding something on my finger. It's called a TIG finger. And uh, it enables you to run your hand right along the metal without getting burned. Uh, it's available um, if you check out a YouTube channel, Welding Tips and Tricks. Uh, Jody has a link to his site. And uh, you can figure out where you can buy one. But they're great because that metal is pretty hot and I can just rest my hand right on it. And basically, I just grind them flush. Tap it off. Hit it with some more acetone. Now, you want to make sure after you're all cleaned up, you carry the acetone out of your area and take all your rags and properly dispose of them because that grinder will ignite those acetone-soaked rags uh, quite easily. Just shoot some primer on, and later on I'll throw some finished paint on, and that's what we look like. And here's some other holders that I've made just to keep my stuff organized that beats the heck out of pegboard, which you can see in the background, but it's all going to go away. Those were some Harbor Freight cheap screwdriver holders. I modified those, added them to some bar stock, and they actually make a really nice product in the end. Hey, thanks for watching.